Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Molly, why are you running home? You could be using your scooter just like me. Because uh, uh, I'm trying to get exercise. Why? So you can eat more donuts and potato chips? <laughs> no, because I'm going to try out for something. Really? What is it? The detention club? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> the detention club. <laughs> no, Daisy. Not the detention club. Oh, never mind. You wouldn't understand. You're right, because I don't spend any of my time in detention. Hey, Molly. How was school today? Dad, when are you going back to work? Oh, you know I hurt my neck. Yeah, Dad, I know. You accidentally fell off the edge of the stairs outside when you were um, when you were using the um shovel to shovel off the sidewalk. Yeah, and now I can't go back to being a cop for at least another week. I miss it so much. This is what I'm watching. Oh, wow, Dad, you really do miss your job. Molly, let's play Roblox together. Can't busy. Hey, Molly, how was school? Did you get detention? Do I have to sign any papers that say you were really bad? No, I didn't do any of those things. Oh, phew. One day break from you being naughty. Yeah. Mom, um, I'm going to go outside, okay? Uh, do you have a ton of homework? I already did it. I did it in study hall. Wow, Molly, are you turning over a new leaf? Yeah, I guess you could say that. All right, Molly, well, have fun outside. Molly, it's freezing out. I can't believe you're going to go outside. We could be playing Roblox. Nope, got something to do. All right. Molly, it's time to train. I'm going to be the best basketball player in the world. Okay, I'm going to run to the end of the street and back. I have to be in good athletic shape in order to um, dribble the ball back and forth and make all the shots. <sighs> I'm out of breath, though, because I eat way too many donuts. Ooh, donuts. Molly, focus, focus. <sighs> okay, now I'm going to take out my basketball just for the added weight. All right, I got this. All right, now I'm going to pretend that I'm actually shooting hoops because I don't have a basketball hoop in my house. Yeah! Uh-oh. It's going down the hill. <laughs> I'm not going to run after it. Just kidding. I have another basketball. Woo! Oh, yeah. I'm getting good at basketball already. I can feel it. I'm going to go see what Molly's doing, Mom. She's probably getting into trouble. Yeah, that's a good idea. Molly can be a bit of a troublemaker. <sighs> Donuts. Cookies. Cupcakes. No, focus! I'm going to be the Best basketball player ever. What is she doing? She's running back and forth down the street, throwing basketballs down the hill. She has totally lost her mind. Oh no, there's Daisy. She's gonna annoy me, and she's gonna distract me from my training. Molly, what are you doing? Hey, are you throwing basketballs at me? Sorry, you're kind of in the way of my training. Molly, what are you doing? I am going to try out for the basketball team. Molly, you can't. Don't tell me I can't. I can do anything I put my mind to. Um, okay, Molly, if you say so. Okay, Molly, you can do this. You can do this. I have to give myself a little bit of a pep talk because I'm kind of nervous about tryouts today, but I know that I can do this. I practice so hard. I'm going to get on the basketball team. I just know it. Well, I better get to the gym. Hey, Molly, I'm here to cheer you on. I even wore my cheerleading outfit. Oh, gee, thanks. Thought you didn't think I could make it. Well, I don't, Molly, but I still want to be supportive. Uh, thanks, I guess. Well, Molly, I mean, I, I want to tell you something if you don't already know. Look, Daisy, I'd love to stand here and talk to you all day, but I'm going to be late for tryouts. But it's about tryouts, Molly. You're not allowed to try out. I can do anything I want. Watch out, Daisy. 
Huh, I thought she said she was going to be here to cheer me on. Great job, Dylan. Let's see your next shot. You've almost made it onto the team. Hey, thanks, coach! Wow! He looks really good! He's a lot taller than me, too. Excuse me, what are you doing in the gym right now? I'm here for tryouts. Well, they're time tryouts, first of all. Do you have a time slot? Um, yeah. No, I don't. But I I'm really good! Also, um, I don't know what you're trying out for, but you can't be here. Wait, why? Because this is a boys' basketball team. What? Yeah, there's no girls' basketball team in Brookhaven. And, uh, you're not a boy. Oh, um, okay. Well, um, uh, I have a brother. Yeah, that's it. And he wants to try out. Is there still time slots today? Yeah, there's one at 3.30, but he'd have to call in quick to get it. Okay, um, thanks for the information. No girls are allowed to try out? Well, I'll fix that. <laughs> Just go into the auditorium because nobody's in here. Watch this. <clears throat> Hello, this is, um, Fred. Yeah, that's it. Hello, Fred. What can I do for you? Uh, <clears throat> I'd like the 3.30 tryout slot, please. Okay, Fred. Did you practice? Of course I did. All right. Well, we'll see you at 3.30 for tryouts. Thanks, coach. Now I just have to pretend I'm a boy, try out for the team, get on the team, and become a basketball sensation. <laughs> Easy peasy. Now time to turn into a boy. Okay, let's see what I have in my backpack. I'm sure I could come up with something. Um... Uh... I guess these will work. And, uh, now I need a boy shirt. Um, okay, that one will work. And I need a wig. <laughs> look at me! I look like a boy! <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> Meet, no longer Molly, but Fred! <clears throat> I just gotta work on making my voice sound a little bit lower. <laughs> Perfect. You are gonna get on this basketball team, Fred! Better get out of here. <laughs> Even my sister didn't recognize me. Perfect. Both of you guys have made it onto the team. Now I want you to keep doing jumping jacks for at least an hour. Oh man, maybe we shouldn't have gotten on the team in the first place. And who might you be? Um, uh, I'm Fred. I've got the 3.30 slot. Okay, let's see how fast you can run from one end of the gym to the other. Let's do this. Okay, uh, I mean, okay. Huh, I've really got to wow these guys. Here we go. Whoa, Fred, you're really fast. <laughs> yeah, especially for a girl, huh? Wow, holy guacamole, your time is awesome. Okay, let's see how you do with the basketball now. Okay, I'm um, okay. You having a little problem with your voice? Um, no, I just got a little bit of a cold, coach. All right, let's see if you can make some hoops. Oh, whoa, great job. All right, go back a little farther onto the court, and let's see if you can make a hoop from here. Ooh, you, you're, you're making a basket almost on every single turn. Holy guacamole, you're a great basketball player, Fred. Yeah, I know. I, I, I definitely should be on the team, right? Absolutely. Um... Can you be here for practice every single day? Yeah, you bet I can. Okay, get over there and start doing some jumping jacks. You got it, coach. Yes, I tricked the coach and everyone else. And now I get to be on the basketball team. <laughs> Who says a girl isn't as good? Of course we are. All right, boys, let's step it up. I can't do any more jumping jacks, coach. Okay, I guess you guys are dismissed for the day. I'll see you after class tomorrow. No problem, coach. Yeah, no problem, coach. I can do jumping jacks while I leave. Okay, class is dismissed. Molly, are you coming home? I can't believe you don't have detention. Uh, no, I, I've got some things to do. Okay, well, I don't know what, but hopefully it's not chewable. It's definitely not. I'm sorry you didn't get on the basketball team, Molly. That's what I was trying to tell you. No girls allowed. 
Yeah, <laughs> whatever. I mean, I didn't really want to be on the basketball team anyway. Okay, but um, have fun doing whatever you're doing that's a secret. Yep. I wonder what she's doing. She can't be just doing nothing. It's Molly, so she's always getting herself into trouble. All right, time to change into my boy outfit. <laughs> I've got everyone fooled. And this Friday is the big game. Okay, I've got to put on something that will be good to work out in. Perfect. And now where's my wig? Dun -da -da -da. Meet Fred. <laughs> Molly, are you in here? <laughs> oh, no. It's Daisy. Molly, I'm coming in. Uh, d no, don't, don't come in. What are you doing in the girls' bathroom? Um, uh, uh. Wait a minute, you look familiar. And I thought my sister was in here. Get out, I'm going party! Okay, fine, but I don't know why you're in the girls' bathroom. You're gonna get in trouble for that. Wait a minute, are you the same one that was in the girls' bathroom yesterday? Who, me? Uh, no, not, no. Okay, you just look familiar. Get out before I poo poo in my pants! Fine! Molly, which stall are you in? Oh, no. Daisy, I'm going potty. Don't come in. Okay, Molly, but then are you going to tell me what your secret is? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. I'm just going to crawl under the stall so my sister doesn't know it was me. Oh, I'm too fat. Okay, there we go. Oh, uh, uh. oh, I'm so fat. Why can't I fit under here? Molly, are you okay in there? Do you have to really go poo-poo? Yes, I do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this isn't good. Oh, my gosh. What is going on right now? I'm stuck in the wall. This is not good. What am I going to do now? Molly, I'm going to come in because I'm worried about you. Daisy, don't you dare. Daisy! Molly, what are you doing right now? Why are you crawling around in the gross bathroom floor? Um, uh, I, I lost an earring. Yeah, that's it. Oh, boy. Let me help you find it. Nope, got it. I'm good. Molly, what are you doing after school? I'm going to go into the library and I'm going to do some studying. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm going to do some studying. Uh, don't believe you, Molly. No, I really am. <laughs> I swear it. I'm turning over a new leaf. That's why I don't have detention. That's why I'm just, I'm trying to be a better person, okay? Okay, Molly, if you say so. Now get out of the bathroom. That's very rude to interrupt somebody's personal time. Oh, good, she's gone. All right, now I can go in, turn back into Fred, and hopefully not be late for for my um practice. Perfect. <clears throat> I mean, perfect. La 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 la. Got you. Got me. Who who are you talking about? Wait a minute. You were the one that came out of the girls' bathroom yesterday. What are you wanting the girls' bathroom for anyway? Uh, the boys' bathroom is always stinky, so I like going into the girls' bathroom. You look awfully familiar. Where's my sister? How am I supposed to know? Uh, because you were in the bathroom too? Um, okay, I'll go look for her. You better not be kidnapping her! Oh my gosh, my sister is so annoying. Okay, fine, I'll turn back into Molly just so I can get rid of her. There you are, Molly! Did you run into that guy who's been hanging out in the girls' bathroom? Huh? What? No, I don't even know what you're talking about. I think you might be imagining things. Molly, I have to tell you something. I think you're acting very peculiar. Did you get a bonk on your head? Daisy, I'm very busy. I'll talk to you later. Oh, my sister's so annoying. I'm going to be late for practice. Molly, we're not done talking! Okay, coach, I'm here. Who are you? Wait a minute. You're the girl that tried out the other day. Oh, oh man. I forgot to change back into my regular Fred clothes. Wait, what? Huh, not, nothing. Did you just say that you were dressed up as Fred? N me? No, I don't know what you're talking about. I knew it. I knew that he wasn't a boy. The, the boy was a girl or whatever. Molly, what are you doing here? No girls are allowed. Seems that your sister's been dressing up as a boy called Fred. I'm very sorry, but you can't be on the team. What? That's just bogus. Like, I'm a great player, and I should be allowed on the team. I'm telling the principal. You should, Molly. You should get the rule changed. Well, I mean, I'm sort of in charge of the rules, so I guess I could change that rule. You should. You even said that I'm a great player. 
So it should be a co-ed team. Yeah! What my sister said. And also, you were the person that was the boy in the girl's bathroom? Yeah. I was changing into my Fred costume. I have to say that I tricked everybody. <laughs> Until today. Okay, Fred, or Molly, or whatever your name is, you can be on the team. Hooray! Now watch me make all of these baskets. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't like the fact that she's a girl and she's better at me than basketball. Read it and weep, buddy. Read it and weep. <laughs> <laughs> This waffle's delicious. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely need a midnight snack. Mm, they are so good. Mm. I might have to wash it down with some Reese's. <laughs> ah. I can't help myself. I'm a little bit of a pig sometimes in the middle of the night. Mm, so good. Okay, I guess I should go back to bed now. Okay, so if I do that equation and this one, then I'll understand all of the math homework for the next three years. Daisy, what are you doing? It's almost two o'clock in the morning. Well, what are you doing out of bed, Molly? Well, I came down to eat a snack because <laughs> I'm always hungry. And my stomach woke me up. It was like, grumble, grumble. I'm hungry. Of course it did, Molly. Are you seriously doing homework for the next six months? Yeah, I like to get ahead on my schoolwork. I'm going to have all of the chapters done by the end of the week. Daisy, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Why are you doing homework now? That seems a little crazy to me. It's only crazy because you're not a good student. Uh, well, she has a point there. All right, well, I'm going to bed. Have fun with that. Wow, that's kind of weird. I've never seen Daisy doing her homework at 2 o'clock in the morning. She's getting a little crazy about it. Maybe I should tell Mom. I'll tell her in the morning. I'm too tired. No! No, I don't want attention! No, I didn't do my homework, but... Mr. Smith! How about I go to the water park instead? <laughs> This is a life. Just chilling in the hot tub. Daisy! Daisy! I'd be right there, Molly! What's all that racket I'm hearing in the in the kitchen? Uh, nothing! Uh -huh, I can be right there. Daisy, come on, get in the hot tub! Oh, I can't, I'm busy. What are you doing with that wrench? Um, uh, the sink had a leak. You're not a plumber, you don't know how to fix a sink. Actually, I did a bunch of reading on it. It's super easy. Uh, okay. Well, get in the hot tub. I can't. Um, I'll rust. Rust? What, what are you talking about? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, if I hit water, I rust. <laughs> you are kidding, right? Uh, sure. Totally kidding. <laughs> okay, Daisy, you've been acting a little strange lately. Daisy? I, I can't talk right now. I, I've got to go do stuff. Bye. Daisy? My sister's been acting so strange. Oh, well. Better go get ready for school. Oh, boy. It's lunchtime. My favorite. Hi, Molly. Hi, Large Marge. How's your day going so far? Oh, uh, pretty good. I didn't get detention. Good job. So, uh... Today I made pizzas and there's Doritos. There's also some healthy options. Healthy schmelthy. No, you have to take at least one healthy option. The school requires it. Okay, um, I guess I'm gonna have pizza, some Doritos, and an apple. How's that, Large Marge? Good. Let me have your meal ticket, please. Here you go. Hey, Molly. Hey, Brookie, look what we're having for lunch today. Ooh, pizza, my favorite. You and every other student. Okay, take your pizza and move along. Okay. Mm. As always, Large Marge makes the best pizza. Thank you. I've been a lunch lady for 70 years. No, you haven't. Unless you're a vampire. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not a vampire. Oh, yeah. Um, something tells me Large Marge might be a little weird. No, I don't think she's a vampire. She was totally kidding, right? 
Yeah, exactly. Hey, what are you eating today, Brookie? Air? I don't see anything in your hand. Oh, no, I'm eating my pizza. I'm just kind of hiding it because Sarah the Bully has been trying to steal my lunch, so I don't want her to see that I have any. Oh, wow. La, 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 la. My dreams of being a baton artist have to come true before I die. Large <laughs> Marge. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm just cleaning. You didn't see anything. I thought she said she wanted to be a baton artist. Well, everybody's got dreams, even the lunch lady. Hey, Brookie, have you seen Daisy? Yeah, I think she went into the bathroom. She's going to miss all the pizza. What's she doing? Mm. Well, who cares? More for me. Molly, you should go check on her. Maybe she has, like, you know... <coughs> what's that? The farts? Um, an upset stomach or something. Oh, you mean the poo-poos? Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go check on her. Wait a minute! Why don't you go check on her? Because you're her sister? Yeah, you just don't want to go in there. I know it. Well, <laughs> it can be kind of smelly. Yeah, exactly. All right, fine. I'll go in. Daisy, are you okay? Daisy? Daisy, are you in one of these stalls? Daisy? Beep, boop, boop. Beep, boop, boop. Does not compute. What is that? Daisy, are you in here? No, nope, not in that stall. Daisy? Not in that stall. Boop, 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 beep, boop, boop, boop. Downloading information. Daisy? Ah! Daisy! What happened to your face? Ah! Daisy! Your, your face opened up and you're, 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 you we are not supposed to let people know we are a robot. Who are you talking? Who's we? Us, the collective computer system. You must be eliminated. What do you mean eliminated? Like flushed on the toilet like a tutu? A tutu? A poo-poo? I can't even talk right now. Yes, you will be eliminated. Hold still for annihilation. Ah! Oh my god! Ah! 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 Brookie! Brookie! Run! What? What is it? Is it a fire alarm? Is there a fire? Stop pranking us, Molly. Daisy, I, I went into the bathroom and she was plugged into the wall. Wait, what? What are you talking about? You mean her cell phone? No, I mean she was. Her face was peeled back and she was a robot. <laughs> Molly, that's the biggest whopper you've ever come up with. <laughs> Daisy's a robot. No, I'm being serious. Brookie, get up. We've got to run. I'm not running oh, anywhere. Ow, I sort of hurt my neck. Ouch, ouch. <laughs> okay, yeah, that looked a little funny when you tried to get up from the table. But, okay, I'm being serious. Molly, look, Daisy's coming out of the bathroom right now, and she's totally normal. Pff, your pranks are ridiculous sometimes, Molly. Ah, Daisy! What? What is your problem, Molly? Why so jumpy? Because you're, you're, you're. A what? She's a human, Molly. Now, come on. We better get to class. I don't know about this. Something seems strange. Oh, there's the bell. Well, I better get my books. I'm sure that I saw what I saw in the bathroom. Maybe I was just, well, seeing things or something. I cannot compute. Must learn more about this subject. Da Daisy? Oh, her face is peeled back again. I knew it. Daisy, you're a robot! I am the DaisyBot 3000. Now that you know I am here, you must be eliminated. Wait, did you say you're the DaisyBot 3000? Yes, I am a replica of the real Daisy. Wait a minute, so my sister has a robot? Yes, and now that you know about me, you must be destroyed. No, wait, no, ah, she's got a taser! Run! Why am I telling myself to run? Hold still, human. You will be annihilated. Ah! I wonder how all of my Daisy bots are doing today. I should check in on some of their footage. <laughs> Pretty soon I'll have a Daisy bot in every corner of the world. And then Daisy will take over. <laughs> okay, that sounded evil, even for me. All I have to do is use these machines I created to make more and more Daisy Bots. Every single Daisy Bot can have a job. Think of how rich I'd be! <laughs> yeah, 
yes, my plan is working. Come on, Molly, we're going to be late. What are you waiting for? I don't want to go to school today. Well, what's new? But this is preschool. It's not like you're going to get detention or homework. No, I know. I just, I don't want to go. If we're late, though, you might get a timeout. I don't want to go, okay? Sometimes I just, I want to stay home, okay? Molly, that's ridiculous. You know we have to go here so that Mom can work and we can learn lots of good things. Just, I don't feel very good today. Don't try to fake being sick. Everybody know it's not true. Now come on, before we're late, I want to see all of our friends. Fine, but I'm telling you, my stomach kind of hurts. Oh, why can't I get in? Hello? Let us in! Molly, come on, let's just go in through the baby entrance. I'm not a baby anymore. Ugh, my stomach really hurts. Yeah, yeah, Molly, you're faking it. Everybody knows it. I I'm not faking it. I, I, I really don't feel good. Well, why don't you go to the bathroom and try to go poo-poo? That might make you feel better. I don't have to go poo-poo. Ugh, my sister is so annoying. Just leave me alone, okay? You don't have to believe me. No one asked you to anyway. Oh, no. My stomach is really starting to hurt. Oh, man. I think I do actually have to go potty. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I hope I make it in time. Oh, that's so embarrassing to have an accident. Wait a minute. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm not going to make it to the potty. Too late. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I went poo-poo in my pants. Oh. That's so embarrassing. Well, good morning, Molly. Ew. What's that smell? Uh-oh. Did you have an accident? I didn't mean to. I promise I didn't. <laughs> I, I, I didn't mean to. It's okay, Molly. It's okay. We'll just, we'll just change your pull up and everything will be fine. I promise. Oh, how embarrassing. It's all right. Trust me. Everybody has accidents when they're toddlers. I don't really feel good today. My stomach is really hurting. Oh, that's probably just because you're hungry. It is snack time. Come on, we'll get something to eat. Oh, I'm telling you, I don't want anything to eat. It sounds really gross. No, you're probably just hungry. Did you know that if you get too hungry, your tummy can actually hurt? Now play with your toy and be good. Now, come on, let's eat up. I'm telling you, I don't feel so good. I don't want to eat that baby food. Ah, oh, la, la, da, da, da. Da 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 Molly says she doesn't feel good, but she's a liar. I'm not lying. Oh. Ew! Oh, yuck! You threw up on me! Oh, yuck! They don't pay me enough for this job to have babies throw up on me! Oh, I'm sorry, Taylor. I didn't mean it. Sorry, I didn't mean to freak out. It's just, ew, throw up makes me really grossed out. Whoa, Molly, are you okay? I'm not sure. I don't feel so. <clears throat> Ew, now she threw up on me. Ew, she really is sick. Oh my, it looks like we're gonna need to give you a bath, Molly. You're covered in throw up. I don't feel so good. <laughs> I just want my mommy. <laughs> it's okay, we're gonna take you Take very good care of you here, Molly, until your mom can come pick you up. Well, good luck. Our mom's on a business meeting today. She probably won't be able to pick us up for hours. Don't say that, Daisy. I want my mom. <laughs> oh, no. Are you going to throw up again? Don't throw up in the tub. Or on me. Oh, yuck. Oh, no. I feel a little better, though, after I threw up so many times. I think you better take a nap, Molly. You're definitely sick with something. Maybe food poisoning or the stomach bug? Can I have something to drink? I feel so thirsty after throwing up so much. Of course you can, sweetie, but I think we should just give you some water and not milk, because milk can make your stomach upset when it already is hurting. I just want my mommy! <laughs> Molly, I promise I'm going to take good care of you. Okay. I guess I believe you. <laughs> it is so feel good. I know, honey. It's going to be okay. 
gonna be okay Molly I think when you take a nap you'll feel better when you wake up I sure hope so I don't want to throw up anymore mm, it seems like you may have gotten it out of your system sweetie now take a nice night night and everything will be okay I promise okay just just don't swing me around too much because I think I might throw up again Daisy what's wrong I don't feel so good my stomach hurts oh don't fake it Daisy Marley, I'm not faking it. When have I ever <laughs> faked anything? You're still faking it. I don't believe that was a real throw up. Molly, I just <laughs> threw up twice. What are you talking about? I can't fake that. You probably gave me a stomach bug. What? No, I didn't. I wouldn't do that. Oh my gosh, what's... Ew, gross. Another baby threw up. Oh no. It's the dreaded stomach bug. Dun, dun, dun. We'll all have it. I just know it. Every single parent, caregiver, and child at Twilight Daycare will get this. I don't feel so good. Ugh. Don't worry, Daisy. It only lasts a couple of hours, then it goes away. I'm feeling lots better. I can't believe you gave me a stomach bug. Oh, this is the worst. This is seriously the worst. Uh, hopefully nobody else is throwing up. Is everybody okay? No one's answering. Okay, um, I want to slime somebody right now and tell them that they that I have the stomach bug. Um, uh, let's see, who should I do? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by its toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, Mo! You're about... Oh, I can slime everybody? How much does that cost? 50 Robux! Worth it! <laughs> okay, when's everybody gonna get slimed? When y'all get... Wait, how did you pick me up? I don't want you to pick me up! Stop picking me up! Okay, I paid for everybody to get slimed. And, um... Nobody got slimed. Molly, what exactly are you doing right now? I'm, um... Oh, whoa. 400 Robux? No, no, no. I'm nothing. I'm, I'm not doing anything. Uh, yeah, no, not, not at all. Molly, are you back to your old antics of being a prankster? Me? No, not at all. Molly! You just dumped slime on my head. Molly! Oh my gosh, you need to go to timeout. You can't give me timeout today. What? Why not? Because I was so sick with the stomach bug. Well, now you seem just fine. So now it's time for time out. What? Don't you dare take me to baby jail. Don't you dare. Um, baby jail is exactly where you belong. Let me out. This is rude. This can't be happening. Let me out of jail. I don't like this. I want to go home. I want my mommy. I'm warning you, Taylor. You're not going to like what happens next. I want to get out of here. Let me How did that work out for you, Molly? You're still not gonna let me out? This is rude! Ah, I wanna get out of here! Let me out! Ah! Molly, you can have more temper tantrums if you like, but then you're gonna be in timeout even longer. You're so rude! Why is this happening to me? Ma! I'm not a bad kid and just because I pranked you and it was kind of funny. Molly, you're gonna stay there until you can calm down. I'm never gonna calm down! Do I look calm to you? Ma! This is making me so mad! <sighs> <sighs> Okay, I think I'm done having a temper tantrum now. <sighs> okay, Molly, if you think you're done being a prankster and having your temper tantrums, you can come out and rejoin society. Okay, fine. I'll be good. I promise. Sort of. <laughs> Watch this, guys. This is going to be awesome. Purchased. <laughs> Where'd she go? I want to see this. Who just slimed me? Molly? Was that you? M Molly, come back here. Not a chance, lady. I'm out of here. <laughs> Caught you. Back to timeout for you. No. I want to escape, please. Oh, okay, wait. I, I can't escape. It costs me 50 Robux and I'm poor. Let me, let me out of here. No. 
Okay, I can break the toilet. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I just found out how you escape. Oh my gosh. Guys, I just found an underground maze. What? Underneath Twilight Daycare. Are you kidding me right now? Where's this go? This is insane. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! I just escaped Twilight Daycare on Baby Jail. And guys, I'm just going to spend the rest of the day at the beach chilling without any rolls. This is amazing. I'm having the best day ever. I mean, after I got done having a stomach bug and stuff. Whoa! Look at that rubber ducky! Good thing I just learned how to swim. Rubber ducky, you're so cute. Ooh, and a unicorn? Yes, please. This sounds like my kind of day. <laughs> guacamole this detention teacher is terrifying i know i forgot to do my homework but can i please leave no you could never leave wait a minute why do you sound like my sister <laughs> <laughs> because i miss any drive <laughs> holy guacamole why am i so tall I don't know, Molly, but it's weird. It's like you grew three feet overnight. Why am I so short? Yeah, why are you so short, huh? 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 Oh my gosh, my sister's the jolly green giant. <laughs> I will not annoy Mrs. Anitron. I will not annoy Mrs. Anitron. I will not annoy Mrs. Anitron. How about I annoy you? I'm annoying you. I'm annoying you. Molly, she's gonna swack you with a ruler. Don't do it. Um, Daisy, I said we bust out of here. Pull the fire alarm lever. Really? Seriously? I can do this for real? Yeah, Molly, do it. <laughs> Whoa! It set off the sprinklers! Uh-oh. She's gonna blow! She's gonna blow! Go, Daisy! Yeah, she's been fried. I can't believe that I got detention. I don't think that's even fail. Uh, yeah, because you're so perfect all the time, right, Daisy? Uh-huh. Exactly, Molly. Oh my god, there's Miss Anitron, and she is creepy. I wish I could run faster, but I can't, even though my legs are like 300 feet long in this game. I'm so tall. You really are, Molly. Um, uh, just so you know, Miss Anitron's right behind you. Oh my god, I'm gonna die! Uh oh, Daisy, this was a trap. This was definitely. Ah, giraffe! Um, guys, would I like to buy a mech suit? No thanks. I definitely died, and I don't know where I ended up. Oh, is this door open? No. Uh. Ah! She got me again! Ah! <laughs> Molly, that was fun. <laughs> I like to listen to you scream. Oh, gee, thanks, Daisy. That doesn't sound a little mean or anything. Okay, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, not that way. Okay, yeah. Ah! <laughs> Miss Anitron, we have to quit meeting this way. Because every time I meet you this way, you kill me. Okay, I decided to go left this time. I, I'm just, oh gosh, I went the wrong way! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Molly, hurry up! There's arrows on the wall! Ooh, a pet dragon. I don't see any arrows. That's a lie. That is a lie, Daisy. Molly, you might want to use power of the unicorn. This is getting ridiculous how many times you've died. Okay. With their spiggly horn! Oh my gosh, it actually worked! <laughs> well, you're not. You're not actually. Oh, yeah, there you are. Good thing you fit in the air duct, you're so tall. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen is you're gonna die seven more times, probably. If I'm lucky, of course. Because <laughs> I probably will die 800 more times. See? There's number one! <laughs> Oh, boy. Do I want to buy a pet giant? No, I am a giant. Where you been? Whoa! Come on, super tall sister. Let's go. Whoa, look at all these spikes. Don't fall on those. Oh, my God. He just broke that. And he died. Whoa, oh, my gosh. You got to jump fast. Whoa, I made it. <laughs> that was amazing. Uh-oh, Molly. This doesn't look good. Go! And, uh-oh, I, I 
I got a little confused there. Oh boy. Stop asking me if I want to buy things! I don't want to buy your jetpack. No, I don't. The key right here is patience. Molly, come on! Oh boy. Sylvia, I told you to go with the long time. Yeah, you think? Come on, Molly, you got this. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Daisy. See, it worked, Molly. Now let's go up this ladder. Oh, it's probably going to mean more death up there. Yep, definitely, Molly, definitely. You have to go through the fans, Molly. Ah, uh, here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing! <laughs> I made it. One more to go, Molly. You got this. I don't feel like I got it. You did, Molly. Good job. Oh, we made it into the gym. Let's shoot some b-ball. Let's not, Molly. This Eritrean is coming right this way. Hopefully she doesn't come this way. Oh, of course. She's got to be chasing me. Of course. Molly, help me. Just go, go, go. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, my God. I went to the wrong door. Ah! Oh. I like to buy a vacuum. What do I look like? The janitor? Okay, I think Daisy's the only one that survived. Go away! Oh! <laughs> Miss Anatron keeps getting you. Wait, ask me if I wanted to buy a lightsaber. And I sort of feel like the answer should be yes. Because I need to get rid of this lady who keeps killing me! This is just getting pathetic, Molly. I'm the only one that didn't make it. It's like she's, she's just trying to get me. I don't know why. Because you're the worst student ever, Molly. That's why. Can't even see where I'm going. She's just running. Okay, wait. Wait, no. I see it. I see it. No! Get away from me! Get away! Oh, did I make it? Oh, God. No, God. No, no. I'm going into the sewer. Oh, I made it. Finally. Uh, Daisy? Um, I see a red balloon in the sewer. Uh-oh, Molly, you know what that means. It means Pennywise is down here! That's right, Molly, most definitely. Oh, if I could make it... Oh! I died in the doo-doo! Oh, this is just wrong. This is so wrong. Oh, <laughs> she totally died. Okay, um, I'm gonna make it this time. Yes! I totally did. Molly, come on, hurry before it gets you. I feel like I just spend my entire time going through obbies with my sister way ahead of me and me being back here and her being like, come on, you can do it, Molly. Here's your pep talk. Yeah, pretty much. This is my life, waiting for my sister. Huh, I'm, I'm looking around for it right now. What are you looking for? For it? Yeah, that's what I mean. Who's it? Pennywise! Oh, that it. Would you think I met a cupcake? Well, you never know. Beware the duck? What duck? I don't see a duck. Maybe it's like Duck Duck Goose, you have to pay that. Nope, nope, definitely a killer duck! Oh boy, oh boy, I'm. Uh, no, I've been already killed by Miss Anadroid a million times! I don't want the sewer duck to get me too, please! Oh my gosh. I'm trying to get it to chase me, Molly, but it only wants to chase you! <laughs> oh god, that's terrifying! I don't like this duck. Why do I have to go down here? Please, no. Just no. I think if I get out of the water, I can't get me. Follow the arrows, Molly! Follow the arrows! He can get out of the water? No! Of course a duck can get out of water. Maybe you should stop watching so much TV. Do more of your homework and you know things like this. I'm so lost. I'm so lost. The duck is after me. I'm so lost. I'm so lost. The duck is after me. Molly, I might have to abandon you. Don't you dare, Daisy! Ah! The duck is after me again! Ah! Alright, I'm just gonna go over here because I think I can hear my sister's voice coming from this way. Molly, can you hear me? I think so! Oh, I don't I don't see anything. Daisy, that was just a that was a dead end. Keep going, Molly! See there's the arrows! Here I am! Oh, I've never been so happy to see you. Where's that crazy duck? I think maybe he got tired of killing you. Got too easy. Oh, <laughs> very funny. Come on, Molly. Go up this ladder. Hooey, hooey. There's no such thing as hurrying when you're Molly. Why didn't I stay home and eat a cupcake? Ah! Oh, my God. Are you serious? My head just flew into the 
Into the toilet water. Gross. <laughs> okay, that was a little funny. Uh, okay. I, I sort of get it now. Would you like to buy a pet unicorn? I already have one lazy pet unicorn. How many do you think I need? Whoa! Oh my god, no! Oh, I shouldn't have hesitated. Okay. Alright, this time I'm going to be prepared. Where is that spiky thing anyway? Right there! <laughs> Molly, are you being serious right now? Um, sort of. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, that time I saw it. This time I'm going, going, going. I'm getting better! Okay, I made it to the second spiky thing. We are gonna die down you in these sewers. We're gonna die, people! No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. Well, maybe. I'm sorry, I can't wait for you anymore, Molly. You better. You're my sister. Yes! I have to say, I've never played an obby like this where I had spikes on the ladder. Very creative, Platinum Falls. Very creative. The door won't open. <laughs> what is going on right now? Dizzy, are you standing against the door? Uh, maybe. Dizzy! Uh, uh, why can't I get through the door? I'm too fat. Ah, oh, finally. Oh, no. Daisy wasn't. Daisy, what are you doing way over there? Too wide to survive, duh. What's it say on the wall? Leave. Karen, I'm so sorry, John. Why did Mary someone named Karen? That was his first mistake. <laughs> I feel like Karens get a bad rap. I mean, what if your name's Karen, but you're really nice? Everybody thinks you're mean. Nope, never met a Karen that wasn't mean. <laughs> Bear trap? Seriously? Miss Annie tried his nuts. Art class. Okay, let's see what's going on. I would, but I can never go through the door. Well, have fun dying in there, Daisy. Oh my gosh. Are those moving on their own? Okay, that's creepy. I can't get through the door. Jeepers. Molly, they do. They do move. Avoid the mannequins. Okay, this Abby is amazing. Like, Platinum Falls, you are very creative. Props to you. That is the most terrifying art I've ever seen. Yeah, most art is. <laughs> Molly, look. We're outside. Oh my gosh. We might actually escape, Daisy. I know we might. I'm out of here, Miss Anitron. Uh, yeah, my head is flying through space. Molly again. Oh, I think it was about right that she's going to die eight times. What? Yes! <laughs> if only I could get through the doors. Daisy, could you wait and let me go through the door first? Why, Molly? Because I can't, I, I can't go through the door. Uh, uh, okay. It's like it slams behind you and won't stay open. It's the weirdest thing ever. Okay, go through the door first. No, it still won't open! Maybe you should eat less cupcakes, then you could fit through it, Molly. The door opens fine just for you. That's because I didn't eat so many cupcakes. Oh, look, an adorable little elf or fairy or something. She's so cute. Okay, what's Florida Apples doing? Uh, trying not to die. OMG, the lunch lady has gone crazy. The lunch lady has gone crazy. I'm going to die right here because the lunch lady wants to kill me. Molly, she left um sugar all over the floor just to try to get us. Yeah, I think she really did. OMG, I hope this is the right door. Wait a minute, this isn't gonna be fair! I can't open the door! Oh, Molly, don't open the door, go open the vent! Well, that's good news because literally I can't open the door. I'm too fat to fit through the door, I guess. Oh boy, Molly. Hey, I've been trying to work out at the gym more, but you know, I just have a little bit of an obsession with cupcakes. Oh, come on! Creepiness! Molly, are you sure you can do this? Well, I have no choice now. We're escaping detention, aren't we? Uh, well, we were trying to escape, but it seems like you're having a slight bit of difficulty. You could say that again. Oh, see, now, now she's just going to come after me because you escaped faster. That's not really not fair. Hey, sorry. It's just the way the cookie crumbles. Whatever. Oh, my gosh. She's hot on my tail. Molly, hooby, come on. Hoo-ha! Oh my god, oh, I made it. We're in an air duct. No kidding. 
swim. Where am I gonna swim to? Swim down! Over here, Molly, through the air ducts. I can't hold my breath for this long! Molly, you'll be fine. I don't feel fine. I feel like I'm gonna die. Oh, boy, my sister's so dramatic. Ah, do I look like a fish? Actually, I really love games where you swim in the water. I think they're really fun. I don't know why, I've just always loved them. Yeah, till the piranhas come out. Wait, what? There's a piranha? No, Molly, I don't think so. Uh, well, I'm getting out of the water. No, that's just Florida apples. Florida apples? Hmm. I don't think apples grow well in Florida. It's too hot there. Oranges, maybe. <laughs> Come on, Molly. Uh, I would love to. I'm like, get through the door. Uh, what's this say? Get to the boss. Why, what's gonna chase me? Probably Miss Anatron, of course. Yep, you know it. And I'm gonna be the last one on the bus because everybody wants... Oh my god, all the scary creatures are out! And they're all after me. Please don't kill me, please. I just wanna get on the bus like everybody else. Molly, there's another scary creature over here! Uh-oh. Daisy, did you get on the bus? Ah! I got on the bus! Oh my god, I can't believe it. Wait, is my sister on the bus? Uh, is this the wrong bus? Daisy? Wait a minute! I escaped and Daisy didn't! Daisy! You're gonna live in detention forever! Why won't my locker open? Ugh, this locker is so annoying. Hey, Molly. Good morning. Hey, Brookie. I can't open my locker. I feel like such a noob. Um, sometimes if you just hit it like this, it, it'll open. Holy guacamole, that actually worked. Molly, did you hear there's a new student in our school? Wait, what? There is? Have you talked to her yet? No, I don't want to talk to her. Seriously? You're like the most friendliest person on the planet. Why wouldn't you want to talk to her? Because everyone said she's, well, mean and insane. Really? Yeah, everybody's talking about it. Her name's Amanda. Well, Brookie, you can't always judge a book by its cover. Meaning, you can't always believe rumors that you hear. People can just, like, make up lies and stuff. I don't think so, Molly. Something tells me there's just something off about this girl. I saw her at the library this morning, and, well, she was acting kind of strange. Strange how, Brookie? Oh, Molly, there's the bell. We'll have to talk about it after class. I don't want to be late. Yeah, me either. I don't need detention again. I wondered when you were going to show up, Molly. Ah, like you need another detention. Hey, I'm here on time. I'm totally here on time. Wait, Brookie, is that the Amanda girl? Yeah, it is. But like I said, be careful. She seems kind of cray-cray. All right, totally. I'll be. I'll totally be cool, but I still think we should be friendly with her. Okay, class, I want everyone to be quiet and to take out their English workbooks. First, though, we have a new student. Would everyone say hi to Amanda, please? Hi, Amanda. Nice to meet you. Now, Amanda, I know you're new here, but perhaps you could answer question number three. Just try your best. Of course I'll answer number three. I'd be happy to. I love school. I'm not a troublemaker. No, I didn't get kicked out of my old school for being a troublemaker or crazy or doing anything insane. No, 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 no. We just moved because, well, we wanted a change of scenery. Yeah, that's it. And Brookhaven seemed like the perfect change of scenery. <laughs> okay, yeah, problem number three. Uh, that's the question you wanted me to answer, right? It sure is, Amanda. <laughs> I'm so glad you love school so much. And you'll be a part of our Brookhaven community. So question number three is tell the class about your summer reading. Well, I read Harry Potter and my favorite part of the entire book was when Harry Potter died. <laughs> I thought that part was amazing. Holy guacamole, is she for real right now? That's the most horrible part of the story. Maybe Brookie was right. Psst, Molly, I told you she was crazy. I mean, the fact that he survived after all was kind of a bummer. Really lame, if you ask me. <laughs> oh, 
okay, Amanda. Um, thank you for that answer, <laughs> which was very interesting. But I'm glad you read Harry Potter. It shows that you read something over the summer, which is very, very good. Okay, class. Yeah, there's definitely something strange about her. Psst, Brookie, meet me after class. I have an idea. Mmm, this pizza's delicious. Molly? What did you have to tell me? Why did you want me to meet you in the cafeteria? Well, I wanted you to meet me here because mm, I wanted to eat some of this leftover pizza. Molly, did you have something to tell me or not? Yeah, but kill two birds with one stone. I mean, I'm eating pizza. I'm going to tell you what I want to tell you. Ugh, Molly, you just spit pepperoni at me. Oopsie, sorry. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to tell you that that Amanda, she really does seem kind of insane. But there's only one way to really find out. Really? What is it? We have to go inside her brain. What? <laughs> inside her brain? Are you crazy? No, my sister and I have this special formula that if you take it, it shrinks you down and you can see what's inside someone's mind. It's very useful. We used it on my mom once. Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. What if she's really crazy and we can't get out, back out of her brain? Oh, I never thought about that. But I'm sure everything will be fine. I heard her talking about how she was going to go to the gym. We should try to go into her brain there. There's Amanda playing basketball all by herself. That's because she doesn't have any friends because she says really weird and creepy things. Yeah, that was pretty creepy in English class today. So what are we doing here, Molly, anyway? We're taking this shrinking potion. We're going inside Amanda's brain. What? Are you crazy right now? I think she totally is. No, we just gotta find out if she's really evil or, or if the rumors are true. I'll go first. Molly, I think this might be a really bad idea. Too late. I'm shrinking. Your turn, guys. Mm, this actually tastes really good. I'm so glad I made it taste like mint chocolate chip. Daisy, not the point. Get shrinking already. Mmm, it is really good. Whoa, I think it's working. Whoa! Oh my gosh, I feel super strange. Now we're ready to go inside Amanda's brain. Well, guys, here goes nothing. anybody to be my mommy yet? No, Wooly, not yet, but don't worry. I'm sure someone will be the perfect mommy for you. Hey, <laughs> I'm here to adopt an adorable little puppy. Oh, I'm sorry. We don't have any puppies for adoption right now, but we do have one adorable baby left. What is it, like a cat? I could probably adopt a cat. No, it's a baby sheep. Bah. I'm Wooly. What? A baby sheep? That's so dumb. Why would I ever want to adopt a baby sheep? Ugh, they smell like a barnyard. Bleh. Actually, I take a bath all the time. I'm not smelly at all. I would make a perfect pet. Yeah, Wooly is one of our best, best animals we've ever had. He's super helpful and super sweet. Well, I guess he'll do. I'll sign the adoption paperwork. Really? You're going to be my mommy? Oh, I'm so excited. Bleh. Bleh. Mommy, what should we do first? I mean, you just adopted me. I'm so excited. First of all, stop calling me mommy. I'm not your mommy. Oh, bleh. Sorry. Second of all, you're going to go in there and take money from the Brookhaven Bank. No one would expect a sheep. Um, but uh, I, 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 I think it's wrong to rob banks. I don't care. If you want to eat and I'm the only one who can feed you, then you better go rob that bank. Uh, bleh. Okay, but I hope I don't get in trouble. Bleh. I stole a bunch of money and I didn't even get caught. Amanda, now maybe you'll be my mommy because bleh, I stole all the money and I didn't even get caught. What? Yes, you did. Look, here comes the police. Bleh. Run. Run, Mommy, run. Don't call me that. Oh, my gosh. I, bleh. I can't go to jail. Bleh. Oh, I'm so hungry. 
I haven't eaten in days. Oh. Hey, look, there's a cute little sheep. Oh, he's homeless. Oh, I feel sorry for him. Hey, maybe I could get you a, a muffin from Starbucks. Would you like that? Bah. Please, I'm so hungry. Bah. Okay, little guy, don't worry. I'll get you something delicious. Ah! <laughs> Whoa! That was crazy! Whoa, that was kind of weird. Ugh, must be I just have some earwax in my ears. Amanda! You're, you're, you're crazy and mean! Why are you so tiny? Um, uh, well, um, just, okay, wait a minute. The, the potion's gonna wear off any minute. Now you two are small. What, what's going on? We went inside your brain and we know exactly what happened. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, we know about Wooly, Amanda. What? Who's Wooly? Exactly. You can't even remember his name. But he was a little sheep that you said you would adopt, but just you just had him rob the bank. Oh, yeah. He was really good at being my accomplice. <laughs> but once I was done with him, I was done. You're mean. I, I think what everyone's saying about you is true. It totally is. It's why I left Blocksburg, because, well, I got kicked out of the town. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this girl Amanda's actually going to our school. Well, believe it, because I'm here to stay. <laughs> Until I get kicked out, that is. But I plan on having a lot of fun till then. <laughs> Welcome to your first night shift at the toy shop. It's your job as a security guard to make sure no one robs the place. If you hear any noises, go check it out. Also, make sure to keep the power off as it can cause, well, um, uh, problems. Have a nice day. I think this is going to be pretty easy. Well, Molly, what? why are you so tall? <laughs> I guess I had a growth spurt or something. Like guacamole, you'd like a giant. <laughs> I can't believe we got a job as um, security guards at a toy shop. This is so cool. Yeah, but look at that guy over there. He's really creepy. Mr. Funny Dunny, Dummy, I can talk. Well, he is a little creepy. I'd much rather have a teddy bear. Too bad. I'm getting you a Mr. Funny Dummy. <laughs> That's what you're getting for Valentine's Day. You better not. Molly, seriously, sorry, I was a little distracted. You're so tall. Yeah, get over it. You're short. I'm I'm tall, and you're not. Oh, rude. All right, let's go into the staff only um section because I'm sure there's treats in there. Molly, they don't give you treats. It's pretty dark in here. I can use my flashlight if you want. That's a great idea. This place is a little creepy. Um, so, uh, I don't see any of the treats. Molly, just because you got a job here doesn't mean they're going to give you treats. Oh, that seems kind of, like, rude. There, I turned on the power. Now it won't be so creepy. And maybe we can find the cupcakes. Molly, when they give you a job somewhere, they don't give you snacks. Well, what do they expect from me, then? They're going to give you money for working here. Wait, what, 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 what was that? It sounded like it came from the shop floor. I don't know. We probably should go check it out. Maybe they're dropping off the cupcakes. Wait. Where, 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 where did Mr. Funny Dummy go? What are you talking about? He's right there. <gasps> that giant dummy is gone! I know, Molly. It, it's sort of creeping me out a little bit. Oh, I'm sure somebody just moved it. Probably as a prank. I don't know, Molly. That guy was really weird. Hey, look. We can go up here. Daisy, come on, let's let's go up here. Molly, we can't reach. We're not tall enough. Well, somebody stand here, and I'll jump on their head. Okay, okay, that didn't work. Okay, Daisy, um, we can't go up there. No kidding, Molly. Oh wow, if you go through here, ow, it hurts. Be careful, Molly. Be careful. It's sort of like an abbey. Whoa, this job got way more serious all of a sudden. Where is my cupcakes? Oh boy, Molly. You really don't get it, do you? You can buy your own cupcakes with the money they pay you. Yeah, that's probably true. 
pull lever. Molly, that dummy is going to show up here. I just know it. Molly, hurry! That lever made platforms! And if you don't, you don't jump on them, you die! Well, I made it. <laughs> Which is surprising, because usually when I play games like this, all I do is spend all of my Robux. Funny game one? I don't know if I, I think this game is funny at all! What happened to the lights? I, I hear something in the distance. I don't know, Molly, but I think there's only one way out, so we probably should go look. Um, I'm going this way with my sister. <laughs> you guys can go that way. Molly, do you think Mr. Funny is in the shadows? Daisy, why are you so paranoid about Mr. Funny? Because this was called Mr. Funny's Toy Shop. Oh yeah, this probably does have something to do with that giant creepy toy dummy. Absolutely, Molly. This is like a maze. You can never get out of it. I'm going to get out of it. I'm smarter than Mr. <laughs> Funny. Ah! Ah! Holy guacamole! That was terrifying! I wasn't expecting that! Oh my god! Ah, that gave me a heart attack! <laughs> Molly! Did Mr. Funny get you? Yeah, it wasn't funny at all! It was terrifying! I was like, who's that behind me? And when I turned around, it was Mr. Funny. <laughs> ah! There he is again! Okay, this is creeping me out! <laughs> okay, I can tell already I'm not gonna get past game one. Maybe if I just keep running super fast. <laughs> I don't think I can yell. Ah, there he is again! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my god. I keep screaming because it just creeps me out. Okay. Guys, if this game creeped you out, let me know in the comment section below. Maybe if I don't turn on my flashlight, he won't get me. Maybe he's attracted to the light. Oh my god! Oh my god, I can run faster than him, right? Ah! Mr. Funny, stop it. We can be friends. I mean it. We can be friends. <laughs> he moves. So creepy. <laughs> OMG. Why you following me, Mr. Funny? <laughs> I can't even talk right now. Oh my god, I just made it to the exit. Daisy! Molly! Close the door! Oh my gosh, did Mr. Funny get you a bunch of times? Yeah! <laughs> I literally almost had a heart attack. It was so scary. Guys, if you don't like jump scares, this is not the game for you. Okay, I'm going to go over here. I don't know where it goes, but... Oopsie! Not that way. Okay, let's see. If we go up here... Oh, that looks like a way out, but we can't get over there. And then up here, and then here... Come on, Molly, you can do this. And then up here. Yes! Oh, thank goodness, Molly. I thought I was going to lose you to Mr. Funny forever. He is not funny. There is nothing funny about Mr. Funny. Agreed. Ah! Oh, man! Daisy, I just, I just died in the most horrible way. I see that, Molly. Definitely don't go down there. Oh, no, I'm going to do it again. Oh, I got smushed by the rollers. Mr. Funny's toy shop is not funny. It's terrifying, actually. Oh, God! No! Molly, you didn't even make it to Funny Game 2. I, I don't think I want to. I think, I think, no. I'm thinking no. Whoa! Yes, I finally made it! Nope, just kidding, I died. <laughs> Molly! <laughs> Seriously, you stink. Yeah, a little bit. I think it's because I'm just like, I got really frazzled when I saw Mr. Funny, or whatever his name is. Because he is creepy times a million. I couldn't agree more, Molly. He is pretty creepy. Oh, you finally made it. Um, Daisy, does this look like red light, green light to you? It does, Molly. It does. This is the game of red light, green light? Yeah, Molly. So when he's not looking, run! Perfect. Oh, Daisy, you got eliminated. Oh! I don't know if I want to get to the other side. He's so creepy. <laughs> Take that, Mr. Funny. <laughs> ah! He got me again. <laughs> His face is so creepy. Oh, man. Okay. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I need a cupcake. <laughs> is Daisy back? I don't, I don't know if that's Daisy over there. 
I'm not moving. I'm not moving till that head turns all the way around. Great. Ah! Why do you keep getting me, Mr. Funny? Marty, everything's gonna be okay. Just try your best. Would you like to buy a ninja star? I think I really would. I'm gonna stop way ahead of time, so that way, like right now, so that way I don't get killed, because I don't know about you, but I cannot see Mr. Funny's face again. <laughs> He's gonna give me nightmares, Mr. Funny. Perfect. Ah! Don't get me. Oh, oh, that was a close one. Molly, I'm over here. Oh, Daisy. Oh, I'm so glad to see you made it. Yeah, I was really, really scared when Mr. Funny's face was, like, right up in mine. Holy guacamole. Ha ha! Can we move now? Yeah, Molly, he can't get you. Um, Mr. Funny, you are creepy. I can't even talk when I say that. It's gonna be okay, Marley. I never knew you to be so afraid of a game before. Well, this one's no ordinary game. Okay, I think if we go over here, and then, Marley, this way. I can help you if you want. Um, like this, and then. Totally did it! Okay, press for the elevator. Here we go, Marley! I think Mr. Funny's gonna be up here? Absolutely. Okay, I'm just gonna hide inside this box then forever. Molly, I still see your arm. Oh, sorry. I'm hiding forever. Molly, I still see your other arm. That box isn't big enough for you. Oh, Mr. Funny's game number three. Ugh. Looks like a survival game. I'll have to avoid the giant robot by climbing on those blocks. Giant robot? What are they talking about? I don't see a giant robot. Um, Molly, just be careful. Get to a safe place in nine seconds. Okay, I have to say that this is a really inventive game. It's also scaring me to death, so... Okay, this is as high as I can... Oh my god! It's a Mr. Funny Robot! Uh-oh, am I up high enough? I hope so. Oh boy, he's knocking everything over. Oh no, this is gonna be bad, Daisy. This is gonna be bad. He is evil! Mr. Robot. Ah! Oh my gosh. He just took my head off. Okay, I've got to get somewhere where he's not going to break down the blocks. I think Daisy already made it through. She's so lucky. I'm the only one that's left here with that creepy... Oh my god, I only have one second and he's coming out here. Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm dying. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. That's what I need to say to myself. Hey, Mr. Funny. This isn't funny. Oh, man, I need to survive for 29 more seconds? Just just leave me alone! You don't have to do this! You don't have to be this mean! Oh, my God. Ah, we gotta run fast. Oh, Mr. Funny's closing in. Uh-oh, he ran me over. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh. Okay, it's saying I have to wait. I could buy a jetpack. That might be worth my money, actually. Just so I can escape Mr. Funny. If you guys haven't played this game yet, I highly recommend it. It is um, creepy, but very fun. Oh my god, no, don't let me fall! Oh! When I said it was really fun, it's also a little frustrating because when Mr. Funny tries to kill you, um, he succeeds. <laughs> Maybe he won't know I'm over here. Yeah, that's a good plan. I'll hide on Mr. Funny. Uh -huh. da -da 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 -da. He doesn't know where I am. Ha 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 ha, Mr. Funny. Do you think it's funny that I, I'm i hiding from you? <laughs> okay, at least he can't squish me over here. Oh my god, I only have to make it 50 more seconds. 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, I died at the last second. Are you serious right now? All right, one last attempt, guys. I think I can actually do it this time. I'm hoping. All right, I'm going to go over here. Um, I'm actually just going to hide. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to hide from Mr. Funny. See, there's Mr. Funny. And he knows exactly where I am, but I don't know how. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm going to die. Why me? Why me? Where is 
crazy. Oh, there's a lot of people in here right now. So they're just like trying to escape Mr. Funny too. Oh my God, it's not funny. It's not funny anymore, Mr. Funny. You're not funny. You're not funny even a little. Okay, now they're going over that way. Oh, please, please don't catch up with me. There's the exit. OMG, I might actually exit. You survived! <laughs> Marley, finally. Are you ready for the next part? Ah, why'd you push me, Daisy? Sorry! Ah! <sighs> Is this the exit? Please let it be the exit. Please. No way of knowing, Marley. But there's only one way to find out. It looks like... A really dark warehouse? This would be a good time to use my flashlight. Oh no, we're still not out of here! Molly, um, I think we're gonna be stuck. Forever there's Mr. Funny! Ah! Mrs. Harris, I can't believe you gave me detention! I mean, I, I only missed my homework ten times! But, but, but why? Why did you give me detention? Molly, you have to have detention because you didn't do your homework all week. But, I, but I'll try harder. No, Molly, you have to have detention. Oh my gosh, I have to get out of here. I have to escape. It's time to escape detention. <sighs> I will finish everything I start. Wow, I wouldn't want to write that on the board 50 times. Yes. Okay, I'm out in the hallway, guys. I'm escaping detention. Boing, boing. Looks like there was a flood in my school. <laughs> Look at all these lockers in it. <laughs> okay, what's around the next corner? Huh, look, learning is fun. <laughs> oh, and they're having hairspray as a musical. That's cool. I'm in the gym! Boing, boing, boing. Hey, where's Molly? Doesn't she have detention? Oh no, Mrs. Harris is going to be looking for me! I have to get through this quick. I need to get out of here so I can go ride my bike and play! I just got this new awesome sidewalk chalk. Totally going to play with it when I get home. I'm going to draw some awesome masterpiece on my sidewalk. <laughs> probably not. It'll probably just be stick figures, but that's okay. Molly, I've set up some traps for you so you can't get out of detention. <laughs> Whoa! That's a mean teacher right there. <laughs> Not really. I know I'm supposed to stay in attention. So if I can make it out of all of these traps, then I can be out of school. Yes. Watch out for the pencils, Molly. Oh, my gosh. Mrs. Harris. You made one crazy obstacle course. Whoa, I died. Ah, Marshmallow head. That's what your head looks like when you die in Roblox. A marshmallow. Yellow pencil. Red pencil. White pencil. Ah! Okay, I might need to use the power of the unicorn here. Molly, there's no power of the unicorn in detention. Mrs. Harris, yes, there is. Power of the unicorn. No! Well, maybe if your unicorn wasn't naughty and was spending all of her time eating your homework, she'd be able to help you. Ah! Unicorn, stop eating my homework. But see, that's why I couldn't do it, Mrs. Harris, because... Ah! My unicorn ate it! That's not a good excuse, Molly. Ugh. Yellow. Red. Yellow. Black. Ha ha ha! I figured it out, Mrs. Harris. Oh my gosh! The ceiling is coming down! It's gonna squish me. Guys, did you see my shirt? It says cupcakes, cupcakes! I love cupcakes! That is totally the truth. Ha ha ha! I got through all of your tricks right there, Mrs. Harris. We'll try to get through this library maze! Ah ha 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 ha! I can get through a library maze. I'm super good at library mazes. Molly, maybe you should start try to stop and read a book. Nah! Not today, Mrs. Harris. Not today. Keep calm and start the day with a smile. Reading! It's good for your brain! Oh my gosh! 
Now she put all these lockers here. Mrs. Harris. You silly teacher, you. Molly, if you're going to try to escape, at least you can get some exercise. You didn't fail gym, did you? Nah, I'm awesome at gym. Whoa, I'm in the science lab. All this oozy stuff has oozed out of all of the beakers. Boing, 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 boing. Yeah, I'm getting closer to getting out of here. Whoa, there's an iceberg that broke in my school. <laughs> That's funny. I'm doing awesome at Roblox today. I'm doing awesome at Roblox. I'm gonna beat this and I'm gonna go home and ride my bike. I love to play Roblox. I just made that song up. So if it was stinky, I'm sorry. Ah! Stabbing pencils! Beware of the stabbing pencils, Molly! Yeah, I'll be fine, Mrs. Harris. Don't worry. Actually, these look... They're kind of like... <laughs> that was so weird. It's like I exploded the pencil and then it exploded me. I think these are actually supposed to be pencil sharpeners. Oh my gosh, it happened again! Okay, unicorn, stop eating my homework for a minute and help me out here. <laughs> my head is stuck in the floor! <laughs> What's going on? Ah! <laughs> Power of the unicorn with her sparkly horn! You just have to go slow through this part. Ah, ah, it was gonna try to trick me right there. But it didn't. Haha. <laughs> oh no! I wasn't patient and I died at the end! <laughs> Marshmallow head. Let's try that again. No! Okay, unicorn, seriously, I need your help right now. The sharpening pencils keeps getting me. Power of the unicorn! I feel like this part of the game is a little glitchy, but it's okay, this game is still super fun. Have you guys played this game before? Let me know in the comments below if you won. Phew, I finally made it! Thanks, Unicorn. Whoa! Lots of rulers. Boing. 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 Whee! Man, they had a flood in my school. <laughs> There's water everywhere. And look at that door. That door looks weird. Somebody built that wrong. Ah, pencil maze! Molly, be careful when you go through the pencil maze. Yeah, I know, Mrs. Harris. That was a breeze. I would have got an A-plus on the pencil maze. Boing. Boing. Whee! Boing, boing. Boing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I made it through that part. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I made it through that part. Oh my gosh. I think I made it outside. I did. Molly, I can't believe you escaped detention. That was super naughty. <laughs> Naughty's my middle name, Mrs. Harris. <laughs> Jump in on the lockers. Jump in on the lockers. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Ah, smell that fresh air. I just love freedom. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, thanks so much for playing this super awesome game called Escape Detention with me. Let me know in the comments below if you liked this game. And don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes Games and click the little notification bell so you can be the first one to see when we put out an awesome, fun new video. See you guys next time. Bye. Ugh, this crib is so... It's so small. Why do I have to keep sleeping in this? Oh, good morning, Molly. I see that you're awake. Good morning, Brittany. Oh, why the sour face, Molly? Because this bed is too small. It's meant for babies. Well, you see, all the other kids at the orphanage have been adopted. And, well, you should have been too by now, but... 
I don't know, we're just struggling to find you the right family. But don't worry, we're definitely going to find the mom and dad that are perfect for you. I just know it. Uh, speaking of, get up and get ready, Molly. There's a new couple that are coming today to see if you're the perfect fit for their family. Oh, great. Another one to say. Molly isn't right. Molly does this. Molly does that. Molly isn't right for our family. Uh, I think I'll pass, Brittany. Hello. Uh, we're here to meet the little girl. Oh, are, are you her? Whoa. Hi. I, I, I'm Molly. Hi. Uh, I'm Lieutenant Sean. And um, I'm his wife. My name is Heather. Sean and Heather. Whoa, you're a cop, huh? That's right. <laughs> and we're looking to adopt a beautiful, wonderful, sweet little girl. Do you fit that description? Of course she does, guys. Um, why don't you guys have a special day out just to see, you know, how you guys get along? <sighs> Listen, Brittany, this never works out. Molly, just try your best. I'm sure that they're going to love you. Come on, Molly. Um, we could go to the park if you want. Yeah, Molly, let's do this. Okay, uh, I know the way to the park. I'll show you guys which way to go. So, Molly, tell us a little about yourself. What? What is this, an interrogation? Oh, uh, no, we just wanted to know. I have the right to a lawyer. I, I don't have to tell you anything, cop. Whoa, uh, Molly, we were just trying to get to know you a little bit. Uh-huh, sure, sure you were. Look, uh, I'm gonna go get on the swing, okay? Sounds fun. Okay, Molly, um, be careful. Sure, I totally will be. If I can ever get on this thing, ugh. There we go. Whee! Molly, don't go so high. Yeah, Molly, I rescue kids with broken legs when they go too high on swings all the time. Molly, can you please listen to- Molly, can you listen to me? Oh, boy, she doesn't listen, does she? I don't have to listen. I can do what I want. Whee! <laughs> Did you see that jump? Uh, yeah, Molly, it was really scary. I don't know if you should do that when you're at the park. Everything's fine. Now I'm going to go down the slide. But, Molly, that goes into the pool. Do you know how to swim? Yeah, I can swim okay. Do you have your bathing suit? Because you're going to get your clothes all wet. Yeah, I don't care. Molly, I don't think it's a good idea. Could you come back here? We could just talk for a little while since, you know, we were thinking about being your parents. Whee! I don't have to listen to anyone. Uh, Molly, I, I think it's time for you to go back to the adoption center. Really? Why? Um, well, Heather and I just decided that, um... We're not ready to adopt yet. Oh, okay. Well, it was nice meeting you guys. Bye, Molly. Good luck with your search for your parents. Oh, hey, Molly. How did your day go with, um, with the new adoptive parents? Uh, eh. Oh, no, Molly. Not another one that said no. Well, I was just being myself, like you said. Were you behaving? Um, well, then it wouldn't be myself. Molly, where is your manners? I have pretty good manners. I just didn't do anything that they asked me to. I don't like being interrogated. Ugh, Molly, what are we going to do with you? I don't know, Brittany. I guess I'm going to be stuck at the orphanage forever. Molly, Molly, where, where are you? Molly? Molly, what are you doing on top of the changing table? I'm pretending to be a baby. Why would you do that? Because it seems like since everybody wants a baby and doesn't want me, I'll just pretend to be a baby from now on. Oh, Molly, someone's going to want you just the way you are, I promise. Well, I don't see them lining up to adopt me. Well, it's funny you should say that because I have a new couple out front that's looking to spend the day with you. Really? Maybe I'm finally going to get parents. Hi, I'm Molly. Hi there. <laughs> I'm Rich. And I'm Debbie. Nice to meet you. Rich and Debbie. Uh, nice to meet you, too. Whoa, Debbie, are you a doctor? Uh-huh, I sure am. Whoa, cool. What are we going to do today? Well, we thought we would go get some ice cream. What do you think? Yeah, I love ice cream. Let's do this. Mint chocolate chip, my favorite. Mm. I think these guys could be my mom and dad. And they're going to take me for ice cream? Oh, yeah. Mmm. This mint chocolate chip is delicious. I know, right? It's so good. Would you look at that? We all got the same flavor. Yeah, and it's my favorite too. Mm. Can't believe I ate all my ice cream already. Well, Rich, uh, I'm going to eat yours too. What? No, you can't eat my ice cream. Give me that. Mm. Mm, delicious. That, Molly.
Golly, that was rude. Do, do they not teach you any manners at the orphanage? Guess not. When it comes to ice cream, I'm going to eat it all. I'm coming for yours next, Debbie. Molly, don't take my ice cream. Rude. Oh, my gosh. Is she standing on the table eating my ice cream? Um, I think it's safe to say that this one isn't right for us. Well, I knew that was going to be the answer, but at least I got to eat all the ice cream. Bye! <laughs> I knew they weren't even going to pick me. They never do. Mm. But I got to eat all uh, six scoops of ice cream, so I'm pretty happy about that. Mm. Delicious. Brittany, Brittany, I'm back. What are you doing? Uh, I'm just tidying up the the adoption center in case we get any new kids in wait wh where are the parents who took you out they said no as usual also do you have any pepto-bismol i have a tummy ache what why well i may have eaten six scoops of ice cream what they let you eat sk six scoops of ice cream are you serious no they didn't let me i just took their ice cream too Molly, what are we going to do with you? I'm trying to get you adopted, but you have to help me a little bit here. Okay, fine. I'll try to be on my best behavior. Good. I have a new couple coming tomorrow. I figured I should book a, a more than one couple because, Lord knows, you seem to just, well, be sent back here over and over and over again. But don't worry. I'm going to find the perfect parents for you. I hope so, Brittany. I sure hope so. Wee! I love riding this bike. It's so much fun. I can't believe Brittany got it for me. It's the nicest present anyone has ever given me before. Molly, hello. Come inside. <laughs> Brittany, I'm driving in circles around you. Molly, seriously, stop driving in circles around me. You're making me dizzy. <laughs> oh, well, Brittany, oh my gosh, I just ran you over. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Um, yeah, Molly, I'm fine. Ouch, that hurt a little bit, though. Sorry about that. Still learning how to ride a bike. It's okay, Molly. Look, I, I told you tomorrow that we were going to have uh, a new couple coming to see you while they're here. Nah, don't want to meet them. Molly, why? Because everybody says no because I'm just being me and they don't like it. So I'm going to say no to them. Molly, you haven't even met them before. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll meet them. After this one, if they say no, I say no. Hey, yeah, I'm at the adoption center. Uh-huh, yep, I'm going to adopt a kid. I know, right? Adopt a kid? These guys look like maybe they're like 22. Hey, what's up? We're here to adopt you and stuff. Oh, my gosh. What's your name? Barry. What's your name? Sherry. Wait a minute. Your name is Barry and Sherry? Barry, Sherry? Seriously? Yeah. You're pranking me, right? Molly, you're running out of options. Give Barry and Sherry a chance, okay? Yeah, come on. We're going to go to the diner. You can order a piece of cake. Well, it doesn't sound all that bad. Okay. Barry and Sherry, let's go. Hmm. This is the best cheeseburger I've ever had. Can I have another one? Sure you can, Molly. Um, excuse me. Can she get another cheeseburger? Coming right up. Hmm. I love these cheeseburgers at Brookhaven Diner. So delicious! So Molly, tell us a little about yourself. Yeah, we'd love to get to know you some more. Mm. Maybe I could tell you after I get done eating all these cheeseburgers. I'm hungry. Do they not feed you at the adoption center? Of course they do. I had a piece of pizza before I even came over here. I just like to eat food. Lots and lots of food. Cupcakes, ice cream, pizza! Wow! You sure do eat a lot, huh? I sure do. Hmm. kind of feel like I ate too much today, though. Uh-oh! Here comes something special for you guys! Oh my gosh! Did you just stand on the table and fart? Uh, yeah, I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> okay, it's not funny. I'm dying. Smells bad. Smells bad. Barry, this kid doesn't even know manners. How can we be seen with her? Ugh, she stood on the table and farted. That's so disgusting. Ah, um, sorry. I was just trying to be funny and lighten the mood. I'm out of here. Come on, Barry. I can't breathe. I'm trying to move, but my lungs won't work. Coming, Sherry. Fine, I didn't want you to adopt me anyway, Sherry and Barry. What kind of names are those anyway? They stink. Oh, 
wow, this is a really good book. I love it. Um, Molly, can you come here a minute? Sorry, Brittany, I'm reading my favorite book again. Oh, I wish the orphanage got new books every once in a while. And the town library doesn't get new ones either. Molly, please come here. I need to talk to you. Okay, what is it, Brittany? Well, it's been ten years, and I still haven't found you anyone to adopt you. I failed at my job, Molly. Brittany, don't talk like that. Just because I didn't find a mom and dad yet doesn't mean I won't. Actually, Molly, that's exactly what it means. What? What are you talking about? Well, today's your 18th birthday, and you've aged out of the system. What? What do you mean? It means you can't stay at the orphanage anymore. You're officially a grown-up. What? No, no, I'm not. I don't feel like a grown-up at all. Well, you are. I'm so sorry that I failed you, Molly. But, but this is the only home I've ever known. I know, but it's time for you to move on. But I don't have any family. You can always come back and visit me, Molly. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. When do I have to leave? Well, your 18th birthday is at midnight, so that's when you're expected to go. Oh my gosh, I, I, I never got adopted and, and, and now I have to leave? This, this is terrible news. How can this be the law? It just is. I'm, I'm sorry, Molly. Remember, if you need any help, you can always come back. How about a place to live? That would be helpful. Sorry, can't do that. How about some food? That would be helpful. Sorry, I, I mean, I could give you the money I have, but it can't be from the orphanage. This stinks! I don't want anything from anybody! How rude. How very rude! Kicking me out of the only home I've ever known! Oh, I'm starving! I wish I had money to eat at Brooks Diner, but I don't even have a penny to my name! I'm so hungry. Well, there's only one thing to do. Look for the dumpster. SCORE! I'm sure there'll be something delicious in there to eat. An apple! Delicious! I mean, it tastes a little old, but why would somebody throw this out? It's perfectly good. Mm, so good. Well, I better set up my tent for the night. Next to the dumpster seems like a pretty good place. I just wish I had a place of my own. Like a real house and a real family. It just makes me so sad sometimes I don't have anyone in my life at all. I mean, I'm... I'm so lonely! <laughs> and also hungry. I have to go back into the dumpster and get something else to eat. Hmm. An old cheeseburger. That looks pretty good. Okay, there's just a little mold on the bread. I can deal with it. Uh, is that good eating from the dumpster? Ew, disgusting. Hey, what are you doing up there in that dumpster? Oh, um, nothing. Uh, I could share it with you if you want. Just don't tell on me, okay? Share it with me? Ew, I'm not gonna eat that old cheeseburger from the dumpster. Why are you? Um, well, um, I'm, I'm homeless. What? Seriously? Did I stutter? Yeah, I'm, I'm homeless. And I'm very hungry. See, that's my tent where I live. And this is the cheeseburger I'm having for dinner. Oh, wow. I'm here. I'll give you a little bit of money and a sandwich, okay? Uh, here, here's some takeout. And they put $20 in there for you, too. Seriously? That's so nice of you. Yes, yeah, seriously. What happened? Anyway, they made you homeless. Well, I was an orphan, and I never got adopted. Really? I was an orphan, too, but I got adopted by a rich family. I didn't. I, I never got adopted, and then I turned 18, and I had to leave. Oh my gosh, that's terrible! Well, I hope things get better for you. Here you go. Oh, wow! Thank you! You're welcome. Good luck! Thanks! Bye! Wow! She said she was just gonna give me a little bit of money, but this is enough money for me to buy, like, a house! Holy guacamole! I mean, it won't be a really expensive house, but at least it'll be better than a tent. Wow! A house of my own! Home sweet home. It might just be a camper, but I don't care. It's it's nicer than I've ever had. Wow, we it even has a TV. That Daisy person is the nicest person in the entire world. Well, 
I better get these groceries inside. Oh, I gotta be careful crossing the... Ah! Be careful! You almost ran into me! Oh, but I'm so sorry. My vision isn't like it used to be. Wait a minute. Are you that girl that was eating from the dumpster? Are you that girl that... That that gave me that money so I could buy a little house? Yes, I am. My name's Stacy. My name's Molly. I just got back from the food pantry. You want to come inside for a hot dog or something? Oh, I, I'd i love to. Let's go. Come on in. M -m my house is a, it isn't much, but um, it's mine. I know what you mean. I, I had a lot of money, but I downsized. My hips won't do the stairs anymore. Yeah, I know what you mean. I like having a house all on one level. Well, it's 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 very nice. I, I see what you did with the money was a good idea. Yeah, I never really had much in life. But I didn't mind. The one thing I didn't have, though, was family. And, well, I've always been sad about that. Oh, really? You never did find a family? No, never. Wait, I never had a sister. Would you like to be mine? Seriously? Wow! Oh, don't get me too excited. I'll jump up and down and I'll definitely break a hip. Oh, yeah, don't do that. Let's sit down and talk about it. Now, tell me more about yourself, Molly. Um, well, I I was rejected by every family who, who um, came to see me. Wow, that sounds terrible. Yeah, well, I was kind of a rebel back then. I've learned a lot since then. Well, I would love to have you as my sister. Seriously? You really would? I think you'd be a great sister. I think you'd be a great sister too, and I finally have a family of my own. Well, I'm just one sister, but at least I'm better than nothing. It's totally better than nothing. Hey, do you want to come over later for s'mores? Oh, I love s'mores. I'd love to. Wow, having a family is amazing. Would you mind if I brought my children and my grandchildren with me? You have children and grandchildren? Yes, that means now you're going to be an aunt and a great aunt. Oh, wow, it sounds like I have a huge family. You sure do. You're not alone anymore, Molly. You're not alone anymore. Oh, now I can die happy. <laughs> Molly? Did, 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 did you just die? I mean, I know you said you were going to die happy, but did, did, did you just die, Cappy? No. Bad hip gave out on me. G Molly, should I do 911? Not for a bad hip. Get off me, Daisy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we're already fighting like sisters. Yeah. It'll be fine in a minute. It just seizes up on me. See? All better. Well, I'm glad we can spend our final years as sisters. Me too, Daisy. Me too. Molly, good morning. Wake up. Molly? Molly, wake up. Come on, it's time for school. Ah, oh, it's so early. Too early, Mom. Too early. Molly, it's 7.30. Come on. You've already slept in an extra 20 minutes. You're going to be late for school today. Oh, Mom. Do I have to go? Molly, it's school. Of course you have to go. You know that. Uh, and besides that, I could really help um, use your help with baby Kira. Why? What's wrong with baby Kira? Nothing. It's just it's her first day of daycare today. And, well... I'm going to be late for work and I have a really important meeting and I think she's kind of nervous about daycare and I think I think you could really help her, Molly. What do you say? Yeah, okay. I'll go wake her up and I'll try to get her ready. Does that help, Mom? It helps me so much, Molly. Thanks so much. I'm going to go make, a bre make us breakfast, okay? Okay, Mom. I'll go try to wake up baby Kira. No promises, though. Oh, I don't think she'll be as hard to wake up as you are, Molly. <laughs> Mom, what are we going to have for breakfast? You let me worry about that, Molly, and you go get up baby Kira. Okay. Baby Kira! Baby Kira!
Come on, baby Kara. Today's a very exciting day. Today's your very first day of daycare. I don't want you. Oh, you were just pretending to be sleeping? Baby Kara. I don't want to. I stay here. I said, oh, Baba. unicorn. No, baby Kara. You can't play with your unicorn right now. You have to get ready for daycare. I said, oh, Baba. I got Baba. No, not that one either. No, 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 and no. Come on. um, Give me that, okay? Baby Kara. Baby Kara. Oh, my gosh. This kid. <laughs> Reminds me so much of myself. <laughs> I did up a breakfast. Oh, very good, baby Kara. You're up for breakfast. Girls, I made bacon and eggs. Mom, can I have some juice? Yes, you can have some juice, Molly. I'll sit over here next to baby Kira, I think. Okay, we'll go ahead and take some bacon and eggs and eat your breakfast, baby Kira. Baby Kira, you have to have your breakfast, okay? You don't want to be hungry at daycare, do you? Yum, 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 yum. I don't want to be hungry at school. Yum, 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 yum. Baby Kira, come on, eat your breakfast. No, no, thank you. Okay, well, I think you're really going to like daycare. Molly, why don't you tell baby Kara a little bit about your daycare experience? Okay, well, when I went to daycare, I thought I was going to hate it. Molly, is that really helping? Yeah, it's helping a lot. Okay, anyway, I thought I was going to hate it, but the truth is, is that when I got there, I really liked it. Hold on, I'll tell you the rest of the story in a minute. Glug, 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 glug. <laughs> I was so thirsty. Anyway, you think it's going to be bad, but then you're going to make all these friends. You're going to have so much fun. It's going to be great, baby Kara. Just trust me. Okay, well, I'm going to go finish up the last bit of my homework. You need to go get ready for school, okay, baby Kara? No, um, you have to take your bath and brush your teeth. Come on. Thanks for all your help, Molly. I really appreciate it. I'm going to do up these dishes while you two are getting um, ready for school and daycare. Okay, Mom, no problem. Wow, I'm really surprised. Baby Carrie doesn't really want to go to daycare, but she's doing what she's supposed to. She's taking her bath. She's getting ready. Now I just got to do the rest of my homework. Um, Molly, why are you doing your homework right now? Uh, you were supposed to have that done, like forever ago like last night um well i couldn't get it all done because there was a lot of it yeah okay molly but um were you doing other things last night like playing roblox instead of doing your homework uh well yeah okay maybe <laughs> don't be mad mom please don't ground me i only have like five minutes left of homework oh molly we've had this conversation you're supposed to be doing your homework at night before you play or do roblox Okay, Mom, but I was just, like, really burned out from being in school all day. I, I promise I'll get it done. Okay, Molly, as long as it's done by the time we leave. Baby Kira, you're supposed to be brushing your teeth. Molly, I thought you were helping me out this morning. Um, yeah, I would love to, Mom, but I gotta finish this homework. Okay, Baby Kira, in you go. Brushing, brush your teeth. There, I'm done! Can you please make sure Baby Kira brushes her teeth, Molly? I've got to go get my work bag. Yeah, no problem, Mom. Okay, baby Kara, make sure you do a good job brushing your teeth. Okay, my turn to brush my teeth. La la la, la 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 la. Look at my LOL doll shirt. Isn't it awesome? It's like rainbows, and then it's got this beautiful LOL doll on it. I love it. Ah, nothing like minty fresh teeth. La la la, la 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 la, la 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 la. Baby Kara, don't pant over my painting! <gasps> okay, it looks awesome, it's okay. I didn't mean to yell at you, I'm sorry, I thought you were going to ruin my painting. Okay, now we have to go out front and wait for the bus, okay? No, don't you do my painting, no! Yeah, baby Kira, we have to. Okay, this isn't a time to play hide and seek. Baby Kira. Baby Kira. Baby Kira. Hey, come back here. Whee! 
Hey, don't go in the pool, baby Kira. You're gonna... Oh, my gosh. She just got her clothes all wet. Whee! You can't go to... You can't go to daycare. Oh, my gosh. Don't run through the house with wet shoes. Baby Kira! Mom! Mom! What is going on in here, girls? Okay, so I was trying to watch baby Kira, but I also had to brush my teeth. And, well, she jumped in the pool. Oh, baby Kira. Oh, naughty baby. All right, go to your room and get a towel and dry off, please. Well, Molly, I think maybe you're still a little too young to be a babysitter. No, I'm great at being a babysitter. I just had a lot of other stuff I had to do. I understand, Molly. Sometimes you just need a grown-up to do things, huh? Yeah, but I can help out. Sure you can, Molly. But right now, I need to make sure that baby Kira is ready for daycare. Mom, will you be late for work? Well, maybe a little, but sometimes that happens when you're a grown-up and you have kids to take care of. Okay. Okay, baby Kira. Are you all dried off? Yeah. Okay, well, are you ready for daycare? No. Don't take care. Oh, my goodness. My sister doesn't want to go to daycare. Okay, well, Mom, don't worry. I've got it from here. I'll stand outside and wait for the bus with baby Kira. Are you sure, Molly? You don't need my help. No, we'll be okay. It's just waiting for the bus. Okay, girls. Well, I hope you have a wonderful day. Oh, wait. I forgot to pack your lunch. Okay, wait. I can do this. I still have like a minute left. I'm going to go out and pack your lunch right now. Come on, baby Kira. We're going to go watch Mom pack our lunches. I can't do it, Papa. No, no. Okay, let's see. I could pack a Bloxy Aid and also some strawberries, maybe a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Okay, girls. I'll be right out at the bus stop with it. Okay, come on, baby Kira. La 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 no, don't run out on the road. Just stand right there, please. You can hold my hand if you want to. Da, big girl, big girl. Okay, you're a big girl. You don't want to hold my hand. I got it. I got it, but Here you go, girls. Um, Your lunch is on the counter. I have to get going, but I hope you girls have a wonderful day. Thanks, Mom. Don't even think about running away, baby Kara. I can't do it, baby Kara. I can't do it, baby Kara. Okay, baby Kira, I don't talk baby talk. You gotta talk. You gotta talk big girl talk. Can you talk big girl talk? No take care. No take care. Baby Kira, please come here. I'm gonna tell you something. No. Don't take care. No. You're gonna love daycare, baby Kira. I promise. You're gonna make lots of friends. No. Don't get up. Don't get in the. F oh my gosh. You just got in the fountain again. Now your shoes are all wet. Ay, ay, ay. Are you a troublemaker, baby Kira? I said your ba. I got to tell you your baba, yeah. I said your ba. Uh-huh, you are a big troublemaker. But let me tell you something. You don't have to be. You can be a good girl and just go to daycare like you're supposed to. Whoa, really? Yeah, really. And you're going to love your teacher because it's the same one I had at daycare. And also, you're going to make lots of friends and you're going to be able to paint and run around and make um crafts. Ooh, can I get to my backgrounds? Yeah, you'll have crayons there. You can draw things. I draw a pixel. Yeah, you could draw a picture. That that would be awesome. I said so, but Okay, baby Kara. Come on, the bus is going to be here any minute. I told you to buy. Oh, you're really excited about take care now? Oh, yeah, I can get to my backgrounds. Um, it looks like there's some other people waiting to go to daycare, too. Hi, baby Kira. Hi, I I'm Faye. Oh, my gosh. You've already made a friend. This is awesome. You guys are the same height and everything. I did a first day. Oh, me, too. First day for me, too. See, it's both of your first days. Isn't that awesome? Aw, she's asking if you want to be friends. I got a bag! Yay! Yay! Friends! Friends! I guess the friends. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. You already made a friend. That's so amazing, baby Kira. See, I told you, daycare is going to be awesome. You're pretty, Dada Boba. You're pretty too! Look, baby Kira, here comes the school bus. You and your new friend Faye can sit together, okay? Excited. That's right. All right, have a great day. Whoa! 
Watch where you're driving! You're gonna run over us! Oh my goodness! Holy moly, she parked on the sidewalk. <laughs> okay, Tornado fans, thanks so much for watching today. I hope you liked seeing our um first time going to daycare routine. It was super fun to get baby Kira ready. Well, sort of. She was kind of naughty through part of it. Because she was just like now wanting to go. But she made a new friend and she's going to daycare. It's going to be awesome. Alright guys, don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes channel. Where we put out awesome videos just like this one every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Bye!